Welcome to the Local News Network Telluride. I'm Julia Caulfield. In the headlines, a COVID-19 variant has been detected in wastewater samples in San Miguel County. Public health officials note the variant is not the so-called UK, Brazil, or South African variant of the disease. Meanwhile, the number of COVID-19 cases in the county continue to decline and testing and vaccine distribution continue. For more information, go to sanmiguelcountyco.gov. Officials warn power outages in Texas caused by severe weather could also be possible in Colorado. The state's power grid is managed by a handful of utility companies and is, quote, relatively islanded, according to State Senator Chris Hansen. New legislation has been proposed to build transmission corridors and fortify the grid. The U.S. House of Representatives Budget Committee has passed a $1.9 trillion budget stimulus, which will include a $1,400 stimulus check to individuals. Congresswoman Lauren Bobart, who represents the 3rd Congressional District, including San Miguel County, is the only Coloradan on the Budget Committee. Representative Bobart voted against the funding measure. The full House will take up the stimulus package later this week. The U.S. has cloned an endangered species for the first time. A fish and wildlife breeding facility near Fort Collins duplicated a black-footed ferret. The animal is close to extinction. The new critter is named Elizabeth Ann. In other news, three Colorado companies played a role in this week's Mars landing. Centennial's United Launch Alliance, Jefferson County's Lockheed Martin Space, and Broomfield's Air Squared all made parts that contributed to NASA's Perseverance, the rover currently exploring Mars. For Local News Network Telluride, I'm Julia Caulfield. For more local news, tune in to KOTO Radio weeknights at 6 p.m. and check out telluridelocal.news. Thanks for watching.